Today is going to be very different because I think I have found out that I have trypophobia. I'm run a quick diagnosis on myself just to make sure I, uh, if I actually do have trypophobia. If you don't know what trypophobia is, I'm going to go on this highly credible source on Wikipedia and just give you a rundown of what trypophobia is. So let's go look for that trypophobia, alright? So Wikipedia, best source for WebMDs if you're a training uh, doctor or anything. So it says here, trypophobia is a uh, proposed phobia, intense irrational fear of anxiety, or irregular patterns of clusters of small holes or bumps. So what it's pretty much saying is you pretty much get freaked out of highly collective patterns and that look much like, uh, here I'll show you this flower. This flower right here, this, this is trypophobia. I'm quite scared of what might be going on in the future with this because my trypophobia is always, always triggered. On the other end, who's saying these things directly to you and they're saying them directly to you, that's a whole other level of harassment, really. <laughs> it's constantly triggered, so I want to make sure if I actually have it or I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a diagnosis of myself of all these cluster of pictures and videos and see if I am indeed trypophobic. That is a flower. Okay. All right. Second picture. How do I feel? Blood pressure is going a little high. It's I feel quite anxious right now with this mac and cheese. Quite nauseous, if you ask me. I am a fan of mac and cheese, but not the way it's sorted out here. Next picture. These hexagons right now are freaking me the f out, and I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. So far, I'm showing some symptoms of trypophobia. Uh, viewers at home, viewer discretion. It's gonna get very intense and disgusting. So, um, viewer discretion is advised. Let's keep going. Warning, fair warning. What the f is that? Dude. Imagine, dude, imagine if someone tried to shake your hand and that's what their hands look like. That's fucking gross. Looks like you just. You were trying to flip a tortilla and you just fucked and just <laughs> that. <laughs> wow, that's gross. That's disgusting. Wow, okay. So far, so good. I'm already fing him. I already grossed out. Yep, parenthood can be a drag. The kids get under your skin and you just want them off your back. Spring have developed from eggs into frogs underneath her skin. And now it's time for them to move Dude. on. Boy, and you thought stretch marks were bad. Gross. <clears throat> oh, God. Wow, that's fucking gross. I like how he's just cheeky at the end. And you thought stretch marks were bad. No, stretch marks are pretty fucking gross. I don't know if you've ever seen stretch marks. I've seen my mother's stretch marks and they're quite disgusting. See, don't underplay stretch marks. Respect women, okay? Respect women. You're triggering all the feminist <laughs> asshole. You ungrateful little crap. bitch. You little, oh my god, you. You're triggering, let's, how much, first of all. So, hashtag stretch mark awareness. This asshole clearly doesn't know what stretch mark awareness is. So, uh, let's see, uh, stretch marks. Let's put this right here. See, look at this. This is gross. Poor, poor, Poor people ha having stretch marks. I don't even know. Dude, you don't. Why are you showing your arm, dude? Why are you showing your arm, bro? You don't have stretch marks. Don't try to flex your arm in this. Yeah, see that? Beer, the beer belly stretch mark. Oh, that's a baby. That's a woman. That's ha. I'm a douche. Let's see this. See, stretch marks are fucking intense, dude. Look at this. Dude, how do you do? Dude, see that? Oh, f Dude, what the? So gross. Back knee, max back knee, dude. Max back knee. You have a major back knee problem. Wow, that's crazy. That's why I scrub my back thoroughly in the shower. Being popped up from the nose of this patient, you can see so many blackheads are present over the nose. You can, you have already seen this uh, and some of the.
definitely i need some assistant you do need some assistance here. this guy needs this you both you guys you uh. all right next picture Spider phobia, all right? Don't sneak this me with the spider phobia, man. <sighs> the, heart, the heart is racing. The heart is racing. I don't know. Uh, uh, tri dude, triple phobia and trigger phobia all at once. All I'm saying is don't sneak this me with this spider phobia while I'm getting a diagnosis of my triple phobia. That's just not right, bro. Oh, where's my hat? Where's my hat? My hat says California because I'm a retard and I don't know where the fuck I live. Yep, just in case people forget where I'm from. Let's keep going. So we're gonna, we're running out of pictures so we're gonna go on Reddit and look through this whole trypophobia subreddit and find some juicy content. Gross ass tongue. That is a gross ass tongue. That's Photoshop, come on. You can't have those pearly whites and think that your tongue looks that disgusting. Clearly Photoshop, but worth a try. I see, I see you, I see you. Next one, uh, cupping therapy gone wrong. Okay, let's click that, couple therapy gone wrong. Wow, that is, okay, I see the trypophobia on that one. Triggered right now. Trigger, bro. Triggered. So triggered, bro. It's gross. I feel bad for this guy. He went to go get his therapy session and he got back. Poor guy. Uh, my blessings. Blessings out to you, sir. Hope you're doing better. Left permanent scars, but least. Damn. I just had my trypophobia diagnosed. Clearly, I do have trypophobia and. My home is just just covered in trypophobia, dude. I, we're gonna have to trypophobia proof this whole house because I don't want to be constantly triggered, bro. This is this is my this is a personal problem. So what we have here is this uh, Stanley uh, trypophobia sensor. So with the rundown of this, what it does is I'm gonna have to be scanning things if they look somewhat trypophobic, and we're just gonna. Beep this shit, and if it beeps, oh shit, if it beeps, if this thing beeps, there's trypophobia in the room and we gotta get it out. So let's just go look through some things, places where I'm always at, and just trypophobia f fix this place. So, I'm, I'm always in the shower, so you know, it's hot in LA, in LA. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in here, find some trypophobia, you see that? That right there, some holes. Oh my god, where's the hat bat suit? We need a hat bat suit. And just hopefully, hope for the best, nothing happens, we're all safe. So, we're gonna go back into the bathroom and just make sure if it's trypophobia or I'm just freaking out because uh, I'm, I'm freaking out right now. So, that's the sensor. We're gonna put the sensor on the on the subject. Oh, as you can see, serious trypophobia over here. We're gonna have to take care of that. I can't handle that right now, but we're gonna have to take care of that soon. <laughs> it's everywhere, man. Dude. Dude, it's li literally everywhere, bro. I don't know what to do. 